Graphic design is defined as the art of communication through the use of type, space, and image. Designers arrange text and pictures and use color to grab attention and engender a reaction or emotion. But does a graphic designer also need to be an artist? We let you decide as we take you to an unusual exhibit for some of Oklahoma's best graphic designers. I've always been interested in art and I've always drawn ever since I was at a very young age. When I'm not working, I have to do something creative as an outlet and that's how I begin making things, painting and, and trying to be creative in that way. I think graphic design requires like knowing all aspects of art, everything from color to form uh, to seeing a, a layout in a certain way, just like a painter may lay out um, their painting. It doesn't happen very often, and for many, this was a first. On a serene evening in Norman, Oklahoma, some of the best young graphic designers in the state converged on Mainside Gallery to put their inner artists on display. The exhibit is entitled Balance, Art and Design. Some of these people in the show are intimidated by going into a gallery, and they don't feel welcomed or they don't quite understand the work, and I've, I've heard this from some of the artists of, in, in this show, and they thank me. Narciso Arguelles curated balance, art, and design, asking participants to adhere to one rule, communicate the relationship between design and art. A billboard to me is an example of that, um, especially billboards that used to be made with paper versus now most are vinyl or um, LED. Uh, but there are a few uh, billboards in downtown Tulsa that are still paper and they were coming apart so I decided to photograph them and realized that there are just these layers upon layers of ads that really spoke to me as part of the design process that a client will need an ad and then it's obsolete sort of tomorrow, if you will. The work of graphic designers surround us every day. It is in every company logo you see. It's on packaging, billboards, magazine ads, and websites. Maybe we don't consider this work art because it is everywhere. But what if it was hanging in a gallery under lights? Alicia Northern is a graphic designer for Liquid Fish in Oklahoma City. When she isn't creating new logos or websites, she's snapping photos of design work from days gone by. This Roundup Cleaners is very fun. It makes it seem like going to the cleaners is a fun thing to do, but I hate going to the cleaners. This sign was done, I'm sure, in like the 50s, where it, when everything was so happy and cheerful, and now it's very straightforward. A lot of the time clients want very straightforward mes messages, whereas they don't really take the time to realize that they could influence a feeling in their customer. I've been full-time, <laughs> uh, over full-time graphic designer since 2006 when I graduated. It's just been non-stop it seems like, but uh, love, love doing artwork and that's been of course a passion of mine for a long time. Dylan Bradway is a graphic designer who is no stranger to the art world. I've always loved creating work that's not for anybody else but me, and that's where the art comes in. It's it's work that I create without any, you know, goal in mind for a client or anything like that. Every graphic designer I've ever known fancies himself a lot more of an artist than a designer. I think graphic artists work so much on paper or they work so much on a screen that when you get a chance to do something different, to work in a bigger scale, to work on wood, to work on canvas, that idea is very intriguing to them. It's very challenging and they love, they love doing it. A lot of artists use the word composition and uh, they substitute it for the word design. And it's the arrangement of art elements. A lot of people are aware of the art elements because it's the things that uh, are obvious in art. Um, texture or line, line makes shape, uh, color. Design is what you do with those elements, like repetition or rhythm, um, a symmetry, balance, th those kind of things. Um, and really, artists need design to be better artists. And designers sometimes uh, uh, will improve their design if they have a sense of art. 
thanks to graphic designers, we live in a world full of art. The next time you see an ad or a logo, don't be so quick to dismiss it. Look at it. Think about the line and color and placement used. And imagine what it might look like hanging on a gallery wall.